everyone and welcome to the San Gennaro Feast. My name is Rick Martell, I'm a local councilman here in Southampton. I have had the privilege of serving with this committee for over 10 years. They bring this wonderful event to Hampton Bays. Everybody has a great time and honestly in the end, we're 501c3, all the monies go back to charities that are local. We support Maureen's Haven, which is our closest homeless shelter, the Coalition for Women's Cancers, which is in Southampton Hospital. We do St. Rosalie's Food Pantry, local scholarships, and many other events as they come throughout the year. So all the money that you raise, the great time you're having today, all that money will go back to this community. So we appreciate you being here. So it's really special to me when I get to introduce the rest of my board. So we have Anthony Sabellis, Eric Donato, the hardest working guy here, and he always hides in the back, Ryan Kennedy. Dale Sutter. Joe Sabellis. Ron Arcati. And last but not least, the president of the San Gennaro Feast, Mr. Simone Scotto. So Sal's going to read a quick introduction about Grand Marshal, but I just wanted to add that, you know, we work really hard on trying to find a Grand Marshal, somebody that's really deep in our community, that has the same values that we do, that in the end, you know, they give back to their community, they support what we do here as a foundation. So it's, I'm not going to throw the name out there yet because, uh, you know, we see him here, but I don't want to ruin it. But honestly, he's a great friend of mine, and I really appreciate that he's here today. And I'm very proud that he's represented with the San Gennaro Feast. So, Sal, let's go. Thank you, Rick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the San Gennaro Feast of the Hamptons. Every year we honor a local member of our community who is of Italian heritage and exemplifies the value of the San Gennaro Feast and of the Hamptons Committee. This year we have a very special General Marshal, Grand Marshal. He is a proud son of Calavello and of the Basilicata region Providence of Potenza. He is the classic American immigrant success story. After working his way through college by cleaning swimming pools, he used that experience and insight to start a pool construction company later becoming a $23 million business that employed 175 people. Not bad for an immigrant who came to the United States at the age of 11. Later graduating from NYIT, he set out to transform the swimming pool industry by hiring highly trained labor, expanding into propane, bulk chemicals, and mastering the installation of high-end water features. His work is showcased in House and Garden, New York Times, and Forbes magazine. He is now the founding member of Elep Eleptic Works, Eleptic Works, a visible site technology company. A proud husband of wife Terry, and parent of three sons, Jonathan, Jason, and Justin. And a proud grandparent of four. We recognize him for his commitment to our community, his commitment to his family and friends. We honor our friend and congratulate him for a white life well lived. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Tortorella, our 2023 San Gennaro Feast Grand Marshal. I feel like in, I feel like a guy in a suit in the Caribbean's right now. What a great day! I know there was two uh, two weeks that was canceled, but boy, that we met up met up for it today. About a month or so ago. Three Italian guys come to me in a bar. Now, I'm not sure about you guys. 
but it only can mean two things. Either you're gonna get a beating, or they're gonna ask you to honor you. Thank God for the latter. So thank you, gentlemen, This because this is a great honor. I remember about nine, 10 years ago when Simone had the vision of starting a feast to keep tradition like we do in Italy. And what a great job. What a great vision to you and all the hard work you all put in. What a great event, one of the largest events on Long Island. And it's going, going to be like that going forward forever. Well done, gentlemen. You guys deserve more than all the credit than I do. Other than that, I know it's hot up here. We're all sweating, looking at the sun, and you guys don't want to see me up here talk to you guys for the rest of the afternoon, even though I could. As my mother always said, I'm never short for words. And that's my mom over there, my wife. My son, Jonathan, Justin, Kelly, fiance, Lauren. And I have one other son who's in North Carolina, couldn't be here. So thank you to all you guys, thank to all my friends. One thing, one last thing I want to say, because everybody wants to eat and drink. What this feast has done, and I didn't realize, I mean I realized it, but until recently, just a few minutes ago, how many people it brings together from all over Long Island? I knew that, but today it was just proven. There was a college friend of mine, I haven't seen in over 40 years. He came to say hello, for, to, because he you know I was being honored, and I haven't seen him for 40 years. Tommy Ciotta, we went to school together. Thank you, Tommy, for being here. So, this feast unites people from all over, all walks of life and so on. So thank you very much. I'm honored. My family's honored. Appreciate you all being here. Stay cool, okay? And uh, let's party it up. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, a big round of applause for your 2023 Saginaw Feast. Grand Marshal, Mr. John Tortorella, put those hands together. <laughs>